In this video, we're going to focus on four essential math skills that will make your life so much easier in high school. First, addition. We'll look at multi-digit addition, remembering when to carry digits. Second, subtraction. We'll go over the column method and how to borrow correctly. Third, multiplication. I'll show you short and long multiplication, step by step. And finally, division. We'll cover the bus stop method for short division. So we'll start with column addition. 4,783 add 2,946. It's really important to line the numbers up correctly when you're doing column addition. So we have the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. We always start on the right hand side, so we start with the ones. Three add six equals nine. Now we need to add the digits in the tens column. Eight add four equals 12. We carry the one below in the hundreds column. Now we need to add the digits in the hundreds column. 7 add 9 add 1 is 17. We carry the one below in the thousands column. Finally, we need to add the digits in the thousands column. 4 add 2 add 1 is 7. So the answer is 7,729. Next, we'll look at column subtraction. 6,914 take away 3,679. Just like column addition, it's really important to line the numbers up correctly. So we have the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. We start from the right hand side, so we start with the ones. We can't subtract 4 from 9, so we need to borrow from the next column. When we borrow, the 110 becomes 0 tens. Now we've turned the 4 into 14, and 14 take away 9 gives us 5. Now we can subtract the digits in the tens column. We can't subtract 7 from 0, so we need to borrow from the next column. When we borrow, the 900s becomes 800s. Now we've turned the 0 into 10, and 10 take away 7 gives us 3. Now we can subtract the digits in the hundreds column. 8 take away 6 gives us 2. Finally, we can subtract the digits in the thousands column. 6 take away 3 gives us 3. So the answer is 3,235. Now we're going to look at short and long multiplication. 327 multiplied by 4. We need to make sure the numbers are lined up accurately when using the written methods for multiplication. The number 327 has three hundreds, it has two tens and seven ones. And the number four has four ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply four by seven. Four times seven is 28. We carry the two below in the tens column. Next, we need to multiply four by two. Four times two is eight. We need to add the two tens below. So 8 add 2 
is 10. We carry the one below in the hundreds column. Finally, we need to multiply 4 by 3. 4 times 3 is 12. We need to add the 1 below. So 12 add 1 is 13. So the answer is 1308. Now let's have a look at an example of long multiplication. 153 multiplied by 25. Just like we did with short multiplication, we need to make sure the numbers are lined up correctly. So we have 153 and we have 25. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. So first we'll multiply 5 by 3. 5 times 3 is 15. We can drop the 1 below in the tens column. Next we multiply 5 by 5 tens. 5 times 5 is 25. We need to add the extra 1 that we carried over. So 25 add 1 is 26. We can drop the 2 below in the hundreds column. Now we need to multiply 5 by 100. 5 times 1 is 5. We need to add the extra 2 below. So 5 add 2 is 7. So now we need to multiply 2 tens by 3. As we're now multiplying a number in the tens column, we need to use 0 as a placeholder in the ones column. So now that we have 0 as our placeholder, we can multiply 2 tens by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Next, we work out 2 tens multiplied by 5 tens. 2 times 5 is 10. We can drop the 1 below in the thousands column. Next, we need to work out 2 tens multiplied by 100. 2 times 1 is 2. We need to add the 1 below, so 2 add 1 is 3. The next step is to add the two answers together. 5 add 0 is 5. 6 add 6 is 12. We carry the 1 below in the hundreds column. 7 add 0 add 1 is 8. And then we're left with 3 in the thousands column. So the answer is 3825. Finally, let's look at short division. 845 divided by 5. First, we need to draw the bus stop. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. 5 goes into 8 once, with 3 left over. 5 goes into 34 6 times, with 4 left over. And 5 goes into 45 9 times. So the answer is 169. Here are four quick practice questions, one for each operation. If you can answer these four questions without help in under five minutes, you're well on track for high school fluency. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answers. Let me know your answers in the comments section.